Yeah. <coughs> this is the second installment of Chase for the Face. I chase for the Shoes. It's face to match. It moves from southern face to Miami, to Florida. To continue his journey as what he ought to. become a show for the wealthy billion family. To drive the son Jack of all the different buildings. They travel all the. And the W. Thompson Jack Jack to school. The part of particular ain't no fool. Fake appears they won't want to spend the time coney. Let's wait for a fight. You came to spend his holiday in Florida. Was his chance. In fact, took Jack for a medical check up at the hospital. But the baby said the doctor missed the doctor killed. A fight he walked up between the villains and fake. Then by Lola, it's like a vixen tramp. Fake is came to Jack and drives him home. But he received a daily call on his phone. Fake was forced to let Lolo into the car and shook off the police who chased him far. They arrived at the warehouse of Fake Mitsiani, the ringleader of the operation so mighty. Fake is ordered to leave without Jack and discovers an explosive bomb to his car attached. But he succeeds in removing the pipe to detonation. So contrived an exclusive effect so amazing. Jack is returned to his family with a payment of a $5 million ransom. Injected with the deadly virus, he's so offensive. To kill anyone who the child breathes on. How could everything go so wrong? Suspected by everyone except for OG. I'll be one of the kidnappers. Fake checks down one of the false doctors like a fish called Snapper. Fake pretends to infect Dimitri the same boss and let him escape. Dimitri panics like a hilarious ape. He hurries to the land to get a kill, killing Tim Bob from Fake from behind. The doctor in charge of the vials and ends them so in line. He throws the ends down out the window with traffic. Fake manages to retrieve one vial with contact. Fake sneaks back into the bullying tone to tell OG what's going on, for he's so alone. He used the ends down on Jack to kill the boy. Jack's mother is happy and full of joy. Meanwhile, Jack's father, Jefferson, is coughing in sick. The director of the National Drug Control. Policy at the conference. Fake drives them to the house of Diani, where they inject himself with the remaining supply of antidote as a precaution he's so afloat. After fighting the dispensary, Diani's henchmen, Fake was so spectacular in the fence. Fake has the art filling at gunpoint to stop escaping from his own joint. Diani explains that a Colombian drug cartel is paying them off to get rid of its enemies, so Fake cannot risk killing them, but so completely that the armed loaders show up leading to a Mexican state of Diani. He's Lola, she's there with Fake, but she was a policy killed like an idiot prank. Then Fake checks Diani was making an escape on a helicopter to a waiting he can't be late. Using the Lamborghini Roadster from Gianni's garage. Fake speeds to the airport on the barrage. He reports the jet by driving on the runway to make Gianni pay, make him pay. Fake gets into the interior of the plane and confronts Gianni. Nowhere to run and nowhere to flee. But Gianni was ready, ready with the gun. So even Benny is the one. So when they whistle, they managed to kill the pilot. Down goes the plane into the ocean. Fake decapitates Gianni by paralyzing him. Fake won the battle. Fake won the win. He pushes himself and Gianni out of the sinking plane. Fake shot was done. Fake is the man. Fake goes to the hospital so proud. So Jack, just think that the man, the transporter is back. He's the transporter. He's the transporter. Yeah.